Research has shown that social isolation can be as bad for you as smoking, with effects ranging from depression to cardiovascular disease. We know from our own research that people that aren't connected to others that they feel close to, or people who don't have people that can help them locally, tend to have lower life satisfaction. Social Mirror is a way of linking people to activities in their local area that are good for their well-being and health. It works a bit like a magazine quiz. You answer some questions and if you need it, the tool will prescribe you something like a walking group or dancing or Tai Chi that will help you feel better about yourself and your local area. In Norwest Bristol, we've been testing Social Mirror out in the local GP surgery. We've worked with over 100 people to ask them how they're doing and what they'd like to do locally. I was waiting for a doctor actually over in the clinic and this lady was sat by the side of me and she asked me what I did in my spare time. So eventually she said, what, what kind of classes do you go to? I said, I don't go to very many classes, but I said, for the simple reason I can't hear very well. I said, one well, of my problems, I can't understand a lot of people. So she suggested lip reading. One of the main groups of people we've been working with is people over the age of 55 because when you finish working, or when your kids move away, or maybe a partner dies, you can find that the social connections that were really important for you start being less strong, and it's time to re-engage with your local community at the same time as you might start feeling quite isolated or lack confidence. We've been running the project for over a year now, and already people tell us that it can really change their lives. The Nominate Trust helped us fund this pilot, which wouldn't have happened without them. We're hoping to roll this out nationally, or at least in more areas so that we can connect more people to more of the activities that make a real difference in their lives.